from the journal of Aphromus Long Journey. Pilgrim. With notes by Avos Tor, scholar of Reeve Library. Skull Day, 24th cycle, 7th year, 81st turn. 87th day in the trees. We are no longer on the path. While we walked, we came across strange fruit that had fallen onto the path. The fruits were the size of Torn's head. The tree from which they had dropped was overhanging the path. It had strange, thick bark with stony growths over it. We were coming close when suddenly there was a loud bang and a harsh smell in the air. Something flashed past my face, and I felt pain on the side of my head and wetness as blood streamed down the side of my head. There was a great deal of smoke streaming from where the fruit had been. There was another bang, and Torn fell to his knees. I picked him up and ran, stumbling blindly. Note, likely the fruit of the petard tree. The fruit of this tree contains several chemicals that are kept separate while the fruit grows on the tree. Once the fruit separates and falls, the barriers between the chemicals break down until they are able to mix. This creates an exothermic reaction that produces large quantities of steam within the fruit. The fruit breaks open explosively, expelling tough seeds like shrapnel, as well as large quantities of an insect-repelling smoke. The seeds travel some distance before settling into the soil where they can produce a new petard tree. There were more bangs, and I could hear the vegetation above us tearing and crashing. Leaves and branches fell across my back, and I dared not stay still. By the time I felt we were safe, we were well away from the path. Torn's calf has a nasty gash, but he is able to walk, and aside from the bleeding, my head is fine. However, I am unsure how we will regain the path. Path or no, we will have to continue on.